Good evening, America. Tonight we are going to debate over Dr. Dog's six-step plan on hypothesis testing. That's great, Mitt. I know America and the entire world wants to learn about Dr. Dog's six-step plan to hypothesis testing. So, why don't you start? But make sure you don't use up my two minutes. The first step is to determine the null hypothesis, which is known as HO. Then in step two you must declare your alternate hypothesis, which is known as HA. Wow, Mitt, those first two steps are easy. Even I can understand that. What's next? Barack, step three involves the calculation of the critical value. Here, you must determine whether you're dealing with a large or small sample size. Mitt, isn't a small sample size any number that is less than 30? Mr. President, you are getting it. Large samples are determined by the number of the sample size that is equal to or greater than 30. Wow, Mitt, I guess that's real important to determine otherwise your calculations wouldn't be accurate and it could perhaps cause world problems. That's right, Mr. President it could. Mitt, where did you learn this from? I learned it from Dr. Dog. Now let's look at Step 4. Step 4, involves the calculation of the test statistic. This calculation is performed by taking E, which is called the effect size, and dividing it by SE, or standard error. Governor Romney, once I have made my calculation and have determined my answer to the test statistic, what do I do next? Barack, it's a good idea to draw the stinking picture to determine the fifth step, which is to determine your statistical decision. The question here is, do I fail to reject, or reject the null hypothesis? By drawing your picture, it helps you to visualize where the data value lies. Once plotted, your picture will show whether where the data lies. It will show the data value will be either less or greater than, which will determine whether you should reject the claim or fail to reject the claim. Wow, Governor Romney, you sure understand the concept of interval statistics. No wonder you are so successful in the business world. Well, thank you Mr. President. I just want the world to have a better understanding about Dr. Dog's six-step plan in hypothesis testing. Mitt, didn't you say there were six steps in hypothesis testing? Yes, I did. The sixth and final step is including your statement into a readable format about your statistical decision. This is so everyone can understand your findings, and that's all you do for examining whether a claim about a product or service is invalid or a valid claim. Gee Mitt, I can't believe that hypothesis testing is so simple. Thanks for explaining it in such great detail. And, of course, thanks to Dr. Dog as well.